Hello everybody, this is Daz. Today, for fun, no reason, no golden rectangle mysticism or anything like that. Today I'm just going to work on a drawing in of the head of a um, stingray. Here's a colored picture of the stingray and then you can see what I've done is I've done a line work tracing of it. I have it taped on the table right now so that uh, I don't move it from the camera view. I have a little tripod on my light table. So, first thing I'm going to do is take one of my favorite pencils, the uh, Prismacolor Black. You can see that. And I'm going to uh, do some shading. And we're going to use this for reference. So you can watch me do this on camera. I'm going to uh, draw back in this part of the fin here, which I left out when I did my uh, line work. And then we're going to start working this up uh, into an illustration. So there's kind of a line here. And you're going to get to watch me how I do this stuff. Uh, these are ad libs, you know, so they're one shot takes. That's the way I am. Sorry, I go with my gut feelings and uh, I just do stuff, you know, what the heck. I think the more we all practice just doing stuff, the more confident we get at exactly that. Um, just making a move and going for it. You know, we'll help you on a job interview, it'll help you picking up a date or something like that. You just gotta get out there and do it. So here we go, back to the art. We're watching me make circles. Kind of bring out my pencil. And I'm trying to work quick because I know these videos, I try and keep them short for everyone's busy life. We don't want you to have to watch something that's super long and doesn't get anywhere. So, there's very little embellishment on my show. I uh, just do the work and, you know, I could drag it out with a lot much more dialogue and history and all that stuff, but then they wouldn't be the kind of fun shorts that they are. I think people like to see me just uh, embellish the stuff with uh, real art. So we're, we're starting to shade this in. Now this would be, uh, say I had a project where I was doing, a, maybe this was going on a shoulder of some guy as a tattoo. That's what I do. I pull the reference off the internet, just uh, typed in stingrays, and then uh, looked for a close-up because I felt like doing a close-up today for you guys. And uh, when I shade this, I do a shadow and I do a mid-tone and I kind of leave the highlight open because that's where I'm going to add color eventually. Uh, we'll see how this, I'm trying to figure out how to draw this so you can see uh, the whole thing. There we go. Now, I'm not looking at my camera so hopefully my camera isn't moving and I haven't boxed this whole thing. But uh, glancing over at the clock. I just want to make sure I keep these things around 10, 12 minutes. So you see I'm stirring like a bowl of soup. That's the kind of way I have the motion of my pencil. That's the way I describe it, like you're stirring a miso soup in a Japanese restaurant. Just kind of vary the pressure as you apply your pencil to the paper. You know, less pressure makes a lighter tone. More pressure obviously makes a darker tone. So we're just kind of mimicking some shadows. Kind of building out tones to show the flex of the muscle and this uh, stingray's wing, as I would call it, or something. And let's work a little bit on an eyeball so you can kind of see what we're doing in here. Now the eyeball itself, it's kind of a strange, like a matte black they have in there. These guys are pretty weird. Now this is all going to be gold, but there might be some shadow to define. You see just how that little bit of shadow we put in there made that eye suddenly look real. More real. A little bit of shadow here, it kind of fits it in the socket. And then, uh, you know, it's kind of an 
under shadow here, just darkness. And then uh, we've got like the eye muscle kind of comes around. You know, art's a lot to do with <coughs> seeing. The more you do it, the more you train your eye to see. So you might say on one day, well, I'm going to look for creases. Or one day, I'm going to look for shadows. I'm going to study shadows. And you just start training yourself, you know? It just... It's not as hard as people think it is. It's just a lot of repetition like anything. You know, if you're learning formulas in math or chemistry or science or trying to remember the periodic table, you're just going to do it again and again and again and commit it to memory. Well, with art, it's a little bit different because actually there's a such thing as muscle memory where your hands and your body and everything will kind of remember things if you do them over time. In martial arts, it's a thing, muscle memory. So let's say you've been uh, practicing moves for 20 years over and over and over. And the guy, you know the counter to a choke when the guy comes up behind you or something like that. Well, after 15 years of doing that stuff, you can just feel someone coming up behind you. Your body immediately responds with the proper moves. And there's no thought involved because now mind, body, spirit, and soul have become one. So now you're seeing me develop this eyeball while I'm yakking away here. And that's another skill I'm developing is learning how to talk, draw at the same time. Once again, proving that people can multitask. And that we are doing more than one thing at once, no matter what scientists tell you on that one. I'm not agreeing that I'm performing individual tasks because my mouth is moving at the same time my pencil is drawing and I'm forming a dialogue mentally by ad-libbing so I haven't even got a clue what I'm saying till I say it. Um, <laughs> I tell you, I have got the gift of gab sometimes. Oh, there's the phone, it interrupted us, but we're, we're not going to take this call because we're in the middle of drawing, and if I take the call, it's probably going to irritate me anyways. It's just going to be somebody want to babble about uh, a tattoo that they're not going to get. But I'm going to let you listen to this phone call so you can even hear what crazy kind of phone calls I get in my tattoo shop. Hello, 2013. This is the entry machine for a Virgin Tattoo Gallery located in Redmond, Washington. Kind of leaving a phone number, area code 1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-1-800-
Why do we pick a stingray? I think they're just badass looking creatures, man. They're so cool. This would be an awesome shoulder cap. You know, there's so many things I would do in tattoo if the right customer came in the door and wanted a certain type of beautiful thing, had infinite money and let me do my own research and work on something as long as I wanted and money wasn't an object, they could get some pretty fantastic art from me. Because I do work in color, I do work in black and gray, I do work in shading, and I'm really not all about cartoon art like you see on 95% of all tattoo art. It's just a bold outline and then some type of a fill. So we're going to give this a little bit of more work here on camera. So you got this breathing hole behind the ear. You can see that the pattern in the creature itself is almost fractal in shape. It kind of grows into a broken shape and then these exotic shapes have uh, kind of like a dark boundary. I'm just going to show you that camera. So you see that kind of like dark edge. It's cool and then there's kind of like gold and copper and then some pinky flesh in there. It's a pretty cool color combination. I will have to make a second video after I shade all this up and throw some color down for you guys so you can watch me plan out my color art. I'm definitely trying to give you guys an opportunity to see me actually build uh, a structure from nothing. You know, it's just a few lines. And give you some understanding as to the thought process. And really, it's just using your eye. You're turning your head back and forth. You're looking for dark tones, mid tones, and highlights. So the highlight area is that which is most in the light. And then the mid tone is somewhere between the darkest area and the lightest area. And I know this is probably all things you already know, but maybe there's somebody out there who doesn't know this, so we're adding something for them, something of value. Now there actually is kind of a structure to this, uh, kind of comes out, you got to kind of have this feel for it. Kind of comes in here and then it's kind of wrinkly in here. So, you don't want to build up exactly everything out of shadow or we won't have room for our color inks. But now you're kind of seeing uh, the true development of this from nothing. Okay, now I can't go too long in this video so I'm going to stop it because my limit right now is 15 minutes or less. And there's a little something for you.